Hello and welcome back everyone. This is Switch and Tricks with your daily dose of Switch modding, jailbreaking, and gaming. I want to make you aware that I'll be coming out with new content weekly. My next video will be how to put the RetroArch emulator on your Switch. But in today's video, by request, we'll be going over how to avoid getting your Switch banned if you plan on jailbreaking it. Now this guide assumes you already know or have already jailbroken your Switch. If not, please see the link to my YouTube guide in the description below. Now, as you can see on my desktop, similar to my last videos, I like to have my SD card inserted with a folder open, as well as anything else I need open. In this case, I need the Notepad app open. If you can't find the Notepad app in your desktop, just hit your Windows or Start button on your keyboard, type in Notepad, and it should appear. So again, assuming your switch is already jailbroken, and you know how to inject your payload, this would mean that everything other than the files in this video are already on your SD card. So let's get to it. We could skip down to step 3, and a little lower it asks us to create a file titled exosphere.ini. Now this is super simple, and to the most right, you'll be able to click this button to copy the list. Do not simply highlight the list to copy, uh, this will definitely not work. So once copied, paste into your notepad, like what I'm doing here, and save it. Now just a note for those of us that rarely use notepad, you can save as different files other than a .txt or a text file. In this example, we are saving as in .ini. So once saved, we can copy to the root of the SD card. Now in case you're wondering, when they say the root of your card, they basically mean the location of the card that appears when you first insert your SD card to your PC. Okay, so now we go to the next text file. So we're going to do the same thing in the instructions below. As per the guide, we'll be saving this in the host folder that's located in the atmosphere folder. Now the guide states this folder won't exist, but that's particularly if it's a fresh install, so you may see it already. If not, then create the host folder as instructed. Now for the purpose of this video, I'm going to delete my default.txt file and create a new one and resave. Again, make sure to copy the list correctly and not just highlight to copy. And that's it, super simple as mentioned, and this will ensure you do not get your Switch banned or connected to the Nintendo server. And I want to encourage you guys again to check out the website. It's not created by me, so I just want to make sure the credit is due, and this information is appreciated. Again, I'll link it down below. As usual, for any further assistance, you can comment down below. Be sure to like this video if it helped you, and subscribe as I'll be coming out with new content weekly. Also, if you guys have any requests, mention in the comments below and we'll see what we could do. Alright guys, thanks again for tuning in and have a nice day.